Hey everybody, Jep here, and today we're going to explore my first video where I go in depth with the lore behind certain operators. This video is going to be over our favorite Brit Thatcher. Let me know in the comments if you like this idea and if I should make this a series. There's a lot to go over here, so let's dive into this. Mike Baker, codenamed Thatcher, is an essential member of Team Rainbow. Born into a family as a Steve Door. Now, Steve Doors are people who work at a shipping dock that load and unload cargo ships. Sounds kind of boring. Thatcher wanted more in his life, so he decided to enlist in the British Army at 18 years old. This kind of reminds me of my younger brother Kyle, actually. He joined the Army at 18, right out of high school, except he didn't want to escape a profession destined by his family, like Thatcher. He just, he didn't know what he wanted to do with his life, which is okay. <clears throat> now, I don't think Kyle will become an elite specialist with the ability to throw EMP grenades. So, I think Thatcher can kick your ass. <laughs> Sorry, Kyle. Okay, back to Thatcher. Thatcher was immediately deployed for politically charged conflicts and he was very, very lethal. Thatcher is an extreme example of a man that can tune everything else out in the world and focus on one thing. The objective. So as I was researching all of this lore for the video, I found out that the battles and operations that Ubisoft said Thatcher took place in actually happened. They were real world historical events. So I'm just going to play along and say that Thatcher took place in all these events. That way we could feel a little bit more immersive here. So Mike Baker, aka Thatcher, was quick to become a go-to soldier for protecting the VIPs due to his highly proficient close quarters combat skill and his world caliber expertise in anti-electronics operations. Thatcher's first notable battle was at the Goose Green during the Falklands conflict. The Falklands War was a 10 week long conflict between Argentina and the United Kingdom in the year 1982. This was due to a territorial claims of the Falkland Islands and its surroundings. Thatcher took part in this amphibious assault on the islands. Argentina eventually surrendered after a total of 72 days where 649 Argentinian personnel and 255 British military personnel died. I wonder if Thatcher got any aces here. Mike Baker also took part by being on Team Blue of Operation Nimrod. This piece of lore is what his elite skin is inspired by. The Iranian embassy siege took place from April 30th to May 5th, 1980, where six heavily armed men stormed the embassy located on the Prince Gate in South Kensington, London. They took 26 people hostage. And upon researching this, I found out that the UK's Prime Minister's name is Margaret Thatcher, who led from 1978 to 1990. I thought this was a, such a cool little piece of information that I found, and I can't help to think that this is where Ubisoft got the idea for Thatcher's name. Also again, this took place in Operation Nimrod, and that's his elite skin, so I think the correlation is there. After six days of the siege, the Arabs of the KSA group that are holding the hostages have gotten very frustrated that their demands were not being met and killed one of the hostages, throwing their body out of the windows. The UK stepped in and ordered the Special Air Service, or what we're all familiar with, SAS, to liberate the hostages. Thatcher and the other soldiers actually repelled from the room and made entry into the embassy via windows. So this was actually a real world thing. They repelled from the roof into the windows. It kind of sounds like a classic high breach to me and in 17 minutes thatch and his crew took out five of the six gunmen and rescued all but one of the remaining hostages the only gunman that lived was prosecuted and served 27 years in the british prison system oh, really you storm an embassy and take part in murder of innocent people and only get 27 years in prison 27 years oh my god Operation Nimrod put the SAS in the public eye and made the soldiers of this assault famous. Thatcher also had one more notable battle before joining Team Rainbow, where he served in the unit Bravo 20 during the Gulf War in 1991. Not much to say here, but we get the point that Thatcher is an absolute god amongst men. Some time went by and Mike Baker became the oldest man in the British Army at 56 years old. A lifetime of military with extensive training as a British Army Parachute Regiment, a member of Bravo 20 where he finally landed as an SAS Warrant Officer Class 1, his rank as of today. Mike thought to himself it was time to retire, spending his days repairing his boat, the Iron Maggie. Mike's wife eventually <sighs> divorced him, which we never get a clear reason why, but I can assume it tore him apart. That's when Mike's life would change forever. Dr. Harvisha Pandey, or what we all know of him as Harry, director of Team Rainbow, came to him and offered a position. After some thought, Mike agreed to come on board and finally acquired the name we are all familiar with. Thatcher. Being 56, Thatcher had a lifetime of experience under his belt. 
Thus, he was tasked with training new recruits. Thatcher's best friend on Rainbow is Sledge, or Seamus Cowden. Oh god, I have no idea if I pronounced that name right. One person that Thatcher is intrigued by is Mark Chander, or more familiar, Mute. Mew being one of the youngest members here in Team Rainbow is thought to make Thatcher somewhat jealous, wishing he had what Mew had at this time of his life. Thatcher developed the EGMK0 EMP grenade, the one that we're all familiar with, which actually has the British flag on the device as well. I don't know if you ever noticed that, but if you yeet one of those EMP grenades out, if you hold it there for a second, you can see the British flag on the grenade. This is a nice callback just to remember where he came from. This device took extensive trial and error, but he finally perfected it. Thatcher has always been a man that looks away from technology and sticks to simple tools and devices. He believes that people should not rely too heavily on tech. That's why he might not agree with the practices of, let's say, Twitch or Echo, which he's been known to not agree with. One person of Team Rainbow that recognizes the downfall of Thatcher's gadget is Pulse. He is quoted saying, the EMP is deceptively simple. It's the grenade's impact that charges the electron particles. That concentrated energy cascades across an area, even through walls, and spikes nearby electronics. Short of wrapping ourselves in a Faraday shield to protect our devices, there isn't much that we can do. It locks up my cardiac sensor so I can't detect another pulse. That was quoted directly from Pulse. Thatcher has always been a hothead and does not appreciate disrespect or false information. So one day during a training exercise, specialist Oliver Flamen or Lion said the wrong thing. This infuriated Thatch, so he does what he always does, settle it himself. He punched Lion in the face, sending ripples throughout Team Rainbow. I wish there was a little more behind that, like maybe what did Lion say or what else did he do or why Thatcher just got so pissed off. But I tried to look up and some of the stuff that I did find didn't sound like it was truly accurate. So I decided just to leave that up to you and see if you can maybe figure out what Lion said or what he did to make Thatcher so pissed off. One more thing I wanted to say before we wrap up today's video is I actually really enjoyed looking up all the lore behind these operators. And to be honest, I've been playing this game since Operation Health and I hardly ever look into the bio of these operators that we all love and play almost every day. There's a lot to know from the bio, from Reddit, from other Rainbow Six Wiggy pages. And I actually had a blast looking everything up and actually seeing that all these battles that Ubisoft says Thatcher took place in and all these awards he's got, every division of the SIS that he became acquired with are actually real world things. It really goes to show how in depth Ubisoft truly wants the lore behind these operators to be. So I'm excited to get this series going and find more operators that could possibly have some interesting lore or stuff that we didn't know about. So then that way when you play that operator and you get those headshots and those aces, you might be a little more happy about it knowing where this operator came from. And that's where we stand so far with Thatcher. I had so much fun researching about him and looking up all the important battles and operations he took place in. Let me know what you guys think of this video, and I hope you enjoyed this deeper look into one of T Rainbow's most important operators. So make sure to follow me on my other platforms as well. Let's say Instagram, I'll pop that up on the screen. We got Discord. This Discord server is actually getting really awesome, and we're getting teams in there playing Rainbow and Rocket League almost nightly. So guys, get in there. We have a lot of people in here that love playing Rainbow, or some people playing the Rocket League too, and Apex Legends as well. And we're trying to get a nice Discord server over here where people can find more new people to play with and new friends. Also, subscribe over here to YouTube and uh, let me know if you want more videos like this. That's going to wrap up today's video, everybody. And with all that being said, Jeppy out. Thatch was immediately deployed for politically charged. Thatch was immediately deployed by. <clears throat> Thatch was immediately. De fuck. Thatch was immediately deployed for. Po po mm, God. Mute being one of the youngest <clears throat> Mute being one of the youngest in Team Rainbow is thought to make Thatcher somewhat jealous, wishing he had what Mute had at his lifetime. Mute being really young. <clears throat> Mute being one of the fuck. Mute being one of the youngest operators. <clears throat>